I just want to know my English level. If this sounds like you, then today I have the answer for you. Have you heard of ChatGPT? You know, those apps that know it all? What if they could help you assess your English level? Wouldn't that be great? But does it really work? This is the question that I'll be answering today and you won't believe the results. Stay until the end to find out if you could actually test yourself using ChatGPT. Do you know what the most important thing in learning a language is? Consistency. Even if you do 10 minutes a day, do it regularly. We have an amazing app to help you learn little by little every day. Eva, so many fun tasks for daily learning. Use the link in the description to get Eva and use it six months for free to learn English and have fun. Okay, so let's ask ChatGPT to test my English level. Okay, I'll be happy to help. Please go ahead, ask me questions. Mm -mm, I don't want to ask questions. Okay, can you maybe ask me questions? So, first you need to specify that you want the app to ask you questions, not the other way around. Five questions here. Okay, the first question is, what's the difference between there, there and there? <laughs> That's a tricky question. Okay, what if I'm an A1 student? Could you explain the meaning of the idiom barking up the wrong tree? Okay, again, super advanced. Okay, next question. Can you give me an example of a sentence using the present perfect? Or what's the plural form of child? So the first question, there, there, there. First, there is a possessive adjective. The second one is, you know, there, opposite here. And the third one, there is the short form of they are. This question is A2. Now, the second question is a C1 question. To bark up the wrong tree is an idiom. And if you know idioms, it means you're pretty advanced. And to bark up the wrong tree means to be wrong about the reason for something or the way to achieve something. And this is pretty advanced. Okay, now next question is a B1 question. Can you use an example of a sentence using the present perfect tense? Okay, how have you been? Four, what's the plural form of child? children. So I personally, as a teacher, would not do it like this. I find this a bit random. It's not like the first question is easy and it gets more and more difficult as we go. Let's see what the app has to say about my level. Great job! Here's some feedback on your answers. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Two, you're correct. Okay, so based on your responses, your English level seems to be quite advanced. You demonstrated a good understanding of grammar, idiomatic expressions and vocabulary. So I like this. They're testing different things, right? Grammar, vocabulary, idioms and so on. How about we make it a little bit more specific? Create a short test with multiple choice questions appropriate for C1, C2 students to determine my English level. Sure, I can create a short multiple choice test to help identify your English level between C1 and C2. Da, da, da. Here are five questions. So again, I'm given five questions. Which of the following sentences contains a gerund phrase? A gerund is a verb plus ing, but is not used as a verb, is used as a noun. So the first sentence is swimming. That's the present continuous, mm -mm, not a gerund. To swim, that's an infinitive, mm -mm. swimming rapidly. Okay, the correct answer is C, 
Two, choose the correct word to complete the sentence. I to the gym every day. I goes, go, going, I'm going. Okay, so a C1 student should know that he, she, it goes. And here we have every day, so it's I go to the gym every day. Okay, next question. Identify the sentence with the correct subject verb agreement. Again, I know the meaning of subject verb agreement because I'm a teacher. But as a student, should you really know the meaning? So I guess you're going to guess the meaning. And of course, we're gonna choose the book is on the shelf. Okay, fourth question. Which of the following is an example of a complex sentence? Again, as a student, you're not really required to know the name of these sentences. You're supposed to know how to use them. So A is a simple sentence because we have one subject, one verb, and that's it. B, although it was raining, we went for a walk. This is our complex sentence because it's connected the first part of the sentence and the second part of the sentence makes sense only if they're together, so it's a complex sentence. And three, she studied for the test and she passed. This is a compound sentence because these two sentences are connected with end. I'm not so sure if I find this test appropriate. As a teacher, I might focus more on the appropriate use of specific vocabulary, I would test if you can use the past perfect, the conditionals, the third conditional, um, if you can use different structures. Overall, I'm not so sure if ChatGPT can really help you assess your English level. Um, it's a good practice, especially that it tells you if your answers are correct or if they are wrong. But I don't think it can really help you test your English. I think it's better to, you know, ask your teacher or maybe take one of those online quizzes, a YouTube video maybe, like the ones that we offer. So if you would like to know your English level, why don't you instead watch this video here and check your vocabulary level.